from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Mullins with a look at your top stories. A seven-year-old girl has died following a crash on I-70 near the South Split. This happened around 8.30 Thursday night. State troopers say a van with five people inside stopped in the left lane of I-70 after getting a flat tire. A semi-truck driver slammed into the back of that van, injuring everyone inside. Authorities say the seven-year-old girl, Genesis Reyes, was among those injured and died at the hospital. Alcohol and drugs are not believed to be involved. Today, the city of Indianapolis named a section of Capitol Street in front of the Indiana Convention Center for Reverend Charles Williams. He served as the president of the Indiana Black Expo for more than 20 years, and he was the special assistant to former Mayor Bill Headnut. While with IBE, he helped to create the Circle City Classic and expanded the annual expo into a nationally known event. Leaders credit Williams for transforming IBE from a volunteer-based organization into one of the city's most well-known entities. That sign is going to make you think, man, let me go see what's going on, what this is about, why is this sign here, what, what has this man done, why did they obligate him? So, to me, he's the Martin Luther King of Indianapolis. So. That's the start. Search the Reverend Charles Williams and you won't be disappointed. Williams served as president of the Indiana Black Expo until his death in 2004 at the age of 56. Get ready for rides, funnel cakes and plenty of animals. The Marion County Fair officially starts today. It'll run through July 7th at the Marion County Fairgrounds off of Troy Avenue. Twiggy, the water skiing squirrel, is even set to make an appearance there. General admission is $8. Parking will cost you another 5 bucks. Todd. All right, as we go forward throughout the day today, it's warm and seasonable with temperatures in the mid 80s with skies that'll kind of trend mostly cloudy as we work our way throughout the evening hours. The humidity comes up a bit today as well. Uh, this evening's mostly cloudy. Could be a stray shower, especially the later we get into the evening hours, but it would be just very light uh, in nature. Better chance of some spotty storms tomorrow. Still a lot of dry hours for your Saturday with a high of 86 degrees and then Sunday looks terrific with partly cloudy skies, lower humidity and high temperatures in the 70s. Here's that shower chance this evening late and then overnight to the north some spotty storms and then just a hit or miss storm as we work our way throughout the day on Saturday. Mark. Todd, thank you and for more stories and weather you need to know just download the WRTV mobile app. I'm Mark Mullins. Thanks for joining us.